In een wereld van kutsroem en autotune is het raar om een talent te ontdek wat mensen met eenvoud en eerlijkheid oorrompel. Maar dit is precies wat voor Alice Phoebe Lou in die muziekwereld laat uitstaan. Ons het in Kaapstad bij haar gaan aanklop om oor haar Suid-Afrikaanse concertreeks te gesels. It's becoming more and more difficult to describe my sound to people because there's just so many influences these days. And when I play as a band, it can cross from jazz to hip hop to folk to anything really. But I guess I'm a singer songwriter with um, a lot of grassroots folk influence. And the music that influences me or has influenced me for a very long time is strong music that's from, from the heart and has some sort of political message often. The thing that kind of drives me and inspires me to be an independent musician and have quite a fiercely independent approach to music is just that I want to have creative control and I want to <clears throat> wake up in the morning and feel like no one is pushing me in a certain direction or telling me what to do. So I started traveling when I was 18 and it was kind of a natural thing to me. It was just that I wanted to see some of the world, experience new things. Once I started traveling, I was really inspired by a lot of the street culture in all the cities that I was going to. Everywhere I was going, people were saying, you really need to go to Berlin. You'll really love it there. The thing that really stuck out to, to me about Berlin was just the uncompromising nature in which people create art. I feel like there's this other intention that isn't always about money and about profit and about commercializing everything. I feel like there's this spirit of helping out your neighbor and really creating a community. Street music just came super naturally to me. It was something that I wanted to do as a way to earn a bit of money, but as soon as I started doing it, I realized how beautiful this form of music is because first of all you're playing to not just people that have money for concerts and people that can know what's happening in the music scene you're playing to everyone when you look around at the audience that you gather it's anyone from a homeless person to a businessman and a child to an old lady there's nothing else like it really and i will continue to do it for as long as i can I generally prefer to play in a more intimate setting. By intimate, it can be anything from 50 people to 300 people. That's still pretty intimate. Um, and there's just more of a connection. I mean, I've played bigger concerts. I, I toured with Rodriguez and played to 12,000 people sometimes. And that's also an incredible experience, but there's something lost on those experiences. And there's something that is just not as connecting, as tangible. And I really appreciate being able to really connect with people. That's also why I play on the street. So for me, with music and performance, it just makes sense to be able to look your audience in the eyes and to, to have them right there. So I'll be playing three full band concerts while I'm down in South Africa. Um, two on the 2nd and 3rd of February in Cape Town at the Central Methodist Church and another one on the 5th of February in Johannesburg at the Good Luck Bar. And there's still lots of some tickets available and they can be purchased on Quicket. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it.